One key aspect of a thriving community is having the healthcare workforce to take care of us when we're sick, to help us think about how to be healthy in the future, and to meet our core health needs. There is no greater aspect of a thriving healthcare workforce than nurses. When I came to Fort Lewis College as president, I saw the gap in our ability to meet that need. So we collaborated with CU Anschutz to form the new nursing program. It's sort of the best of both programs. You know, Fort Lewis is known for being kind of um, student-centered. And then the CU program is um, the kind of the premier medical institute in the state. So they do over 750 hours of either high fidelity simulation, so in our um, state-of-the-art simulation space, or at the bedside at hospitals, clinics, and things in the Four Corners region. Different fields of nursing, our, our specialized fields are really growing. There's a huge need for nurses, especially in this area. This program is designed to help rural and indigenous communities. There's a strong need for nurses out on the reservations. There's a lot of language barriers, so it's really great that we do have a lot of strong students that have the need to help their indigenous communities. I just can't wait for the day they get to become a nurse, and I just know it's something that they love. And that's the day I can't wait. <laughs> that's what I'm looking forward to. We are currently um, in kind of the final stages of schematic design to renovate Skyhawk Hall. And so essentially what it will be is all of the nursing activities on campus will be housed in that space. So we'll have classroom space, we'll have dedicated um, office space for faculty, for advisors, but it'll also house a huge lab space. At CU they refer to that as a clinical education center. So for nursing students they'll learn kind of the hands-on skills um, and then they'll progress kind of through the program. So once they kind of master the skill on sort of an isolated task trainer, they progress to performing that skill in kind of a mock hospital environment and then they progress into what's referred to as a simulation lab. Um, a big reason why I chose Fort Lewis is because my mother was an alumni. Uh, she really encouraged me to go to college to find out which major would be right for me. In my community, there's not a lot of, I'd say, Navajo nurses that are really needing. Because I always, when I go to the hospital, it's always just travel nurses. And I, I'd like to give that to my community by being a, a doctor or a nurse that stays around their community. One of the things I love about Durango is how the community responds when there is a need. Our healthcare community responded to help build this nursing program. I want to call out Southwest Women's Health Association, Mercy Hospital, Southwest AHEC, Southwest Memorial, and ASH, and a host of retired nurses and the community of nurses who've come together to help inform us about how to make the most effective and impactful program for our region. The work we're doing here is going to be a national model, not only to enhance the diversity of the nursing profession, but to also, and more importantly, improve access to uh, care for both rural and indigenous communities. I, I often say that this collaboration is an overnight success, but based on decades of relationship building. So I'm looking forward to integrating the high-tech learning environment that we will be building with relationship-centered care for individuals and families in the Four Corners community as we continue to boldly transform health together. Thanks, Amy. The collaborations that we've had are forming unique opportunity to be the nation's top rural indigenous serving nursing program in the country. And that wouldn't have happened without you, our amazing donors, our community members who helped shape this program, and our faculty and staff who are gonna make this happen. So on behalf of Fort Lewis College, I wanna thank you for making our community a healthier place to live.